Hi everyone. So today we'll be talking about on how to use GSM, right? So uh, let's start with the connection between uh, Arduino and uh, GSM, right? So uh, just for your information, this is uh, Simcom Mini Sim 900, and this is just Arduino Uno, as you all are very well aware. So let's look at the setup then just just for your information before we start uh, it's important to note that uh, the simcom sim 900 or pretty much whatever gsm modules that you're using are uh, very sensitive to voltage and current supply so uh, every time you're about to uh, use your gsm modules just be sure to start up with usb supply first uh, because uh, USB, the most it can supply is uh, 5 volt, 500 milliamp of current, right? So it's pretty much uh, around the range uh, in which a GSM model can handle. So you don't risk, you know, roasting your GSM model or burning any components in it, right? So just keep that in mind every time you're about to start up or if you're unsure about the connections that you have, right? so looking at the connection here right so we have let me find it. so we have uh, we have ground and 5 volt which is connected to the gsm's uh, ground and 5 volt and on the other hand you have uh, arduino pin number 7 and pin number 8 is connected to rx and tx right it's it's in a reverse so let me just zoom in a bit closer hoping that we can see right so if you can see so we have okay if you can see over here we have that 3 volt 5 volt so this will basically tell you pretty much which one is a, a resistor pin or which one is a transmitter pin right so what you have to do is uh, you're gonna have to connect uh, RX from the GSM module to the TX in Arduino and uh, and the TX from the GSM module to the RX in Arduino so it's always uh, reverse in such a manner so in order to establish connection between a uh, microcontroller and, and a GSM module so it always has to be uh, in that sense it cannot be rx connected to rx of another microcontroller then the communication wouldn't work so one needs to listen and one needs to hear that's how it works okay so let me just uh, plug in my usb that i have over here okay so once it is connected you can see okay then it's starting to blink all right so uh d5 that we're seeing over here this is the power supply and and d6 is the network right so uh usually it would not uh it would not uh, blink every three seconds once right it will be blinking quite frequently but i think probably the reception today is good and and therefore it's blinking once every three seconds okay so uh, d6 is basically the network pin okay so the pin that we're looking at over here this is the network pin so when a network pin uh, sorry network led blinks like every uh, 800 milliseconds uh, as in it blinks quite frequently right so we, we don't know what is exactly 800 milliseconds, but that's what it says in the data sheet. So when it blinks frequently, uh, what it actually means is uh, the network connection is not established yet. But if it blinks every uh, three seconds once, that means the connection to the network has been established. Right? So it's an important point for you to note before you uh run any commands because uh, for example like sending messages or anything because sending messages or making a call wouldn't work if you fail to establish a connection to your network right so speaking about establishing 
connection to your network it's also important to know that you know if to check if you have an active sim card and also if your sim card is uh, have uh, sufficient balance to perform whatever task you need for example like making a call or uh, just sending a text message right so in uh, in most cases uh, GSM would not be able to establish connection to a network in other words that D6, D6 LED would not blink every three seconds one once it would be blinking rapidly uh, let me just try to plug off the USB again let's see if we could get a good example just to illustrate that <clears throat> so let me plug it in again so let's see see okay this is exactly how it looked like it would blink frequently this means that the connection hasn't been established yet right so working under this condition would not give you any result right okay now we have seen that it has actually stabilized and managed to connect right so the very first thing that you need to check is this right so a working gsm model would be able to blink every three seconds once that's the very basis of it right so now let's just say if by using usb alone because usb supply a limited power supply of 5 volt and 500 milliamps when gsm is actually in uh, how to say in operational mode it can draw up up to two amperes right so for such cases you would need extra power supply so what i have over here is a power supply so let me just check i have okay negative right so so i'm using this 18650 battery as my power supply right okay so one one of my recommendation is always to use dc jack instead of using this V in in your Arduino, right? I've done it so many times, and I've uh, accidentally reversed the polarity, and then I ended up burning the whole bar, right? So it wouldn't produce any smoke or anything, but it's just burned out, right? So it's not something that you can clearly see. So just to avoid all that trouble, I'm just simply using a DC jack. So with DC jack, you already have that. Uh, negative and positive terminal so there's no way you can go wrong with this so also uh, the connection to v in and ground over here is a bit loose you know because it's just a jumper cable right so it, it can always come out and everything so it's always good if you could just use this you know so now what we can see over here is okay now it's blinking okay and now okay now it has okay it's still blinking quite rapidly uh, let's see if it's able to establish connection to the network shortly so this is what I do okay now you can see it's blinking once every three seconds right so if you are using it for an external project or anything you can always use an external power supply like this uh, it actually lasts for quite some time so it will be a good fit for your project okay so that's all about the setup i uh, will be speaking about how to make use of the code as of for uh, in a bit all right so thanks everyone uh we'll convene again